The car I'm about to show you not only looks like a snail, it was designed to. It's a Nissan S-Cargo. This is a 1989 Nissan S-Cargo. It's a Japanese car made in Japan for Japan that was only sold in Japan, but it has an English name that's a play on a French word. This is one of Nissan's Pike cars made in their Pike factory, like the Nissan Figaro, the Nissan B1, BE1, whatever it is, and the PAL. Like other Pike cars, this is retro inspired, but you might look at this thing and think, what was it inspired by, aside from a small slimy animal that lives in a shell? Well, the answer, or at least a clue to that answer, lies in the name, S-Cargo. This thing was inspired by a Citroen 2CV. It has deux chevaux inspired bench seats, a Citroen inspired single spoke steering wheel. This steering wheel is even slightly off kilter pointed toward the center, like some sort of bizarre French vehicle. And the overall design was inspired by the Citroen deux chevaux Fourgonette, also a silly little van. Another aspect of the Scargo that's deux chevaux inspired, body roll. This thing has a very large amount of body roll. That's partially because it's so dang tall, but also there's no anti-roll bar on the rear suspension at all. Unlike those other Pike cars, it's not a car, it's a van. It's a rather short, but vertically extravagant panel van. Despite being smaller than a Fiesta, the back end is quite capacious. You could easily fit at least four of me's in it. If I was dead and it all folded up, I could fit like a dozen of me in there. This is a van and it's very honest about its intentions. It's very basic inside because it's a cargo van. There's very little sound deadening. There is some, there's a headliner and there's some sound deadening in front of what would be the windows in the back, but there's not much in the way of features. It has an AM only radio. It has no power windows or locks. It does surprisingly have air conditioning. It doesn't work very well, but it does have it. And that's about it. Nissan made the Scargo in the Pike factory from 1989 to 1991, and they only produced about 8,000 of them. All S Cargos were virtually identical, but there were two options. You could have a little porthole window behind the doors in place of a solid panel, and you could also have a rollback canvas roof, like a Dichevo. And yes, it was absolutely designed to look like a snail. It has snail mud flaps, a snail floor mat. The S in S Cargo is the shape of a snail, and let's not forget, Escargo is French for snail. You know, it says snail all over it. It says snail on the floor mats, on the mud flaps. It is very clearly modeled after a snail, but I can't help but think the front of it looks like a frog instead. As far as driving experience goes, this thing is no snail. It's at least a turtle. The hood is this massive, hilariously shaped thing with big old cutouts for these massive frog eyes here, but the engine underneath it is decidedly normal. It's a Nissan E15, single carbureted, naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, making about 75 horsepower. And the transmission is a regular old three-speed automatic. It has a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine and a three-speed automatic. It drives like a very ordinary, pretty boring car. It's boomier and taller than an ordinary car, but still much like an ordinary car. Because the underpinnings are all Japanese economy car, it drives like a Japanese economy car, a reliable one. Despite being 30 years old, this car feels decidedly modern. A little bit slow for American standards, but decidedly modern anyway. Visibility out of this thing is fantastic. You have the gigantic window in front of you. It's very close to you. You have these giant windows that are very tall, massive mirrors, and a giant window out the back. And it's, you know, not very big of a vehicle. Oh, and if you're wondering what these are, they're just parking lot extensions. It's helpful for knowing where the corners of the vehicle are, but that's all they are. I'm going 70. Mostly it's all right, but the wind is having quite an effect on the body. There are only two real seats. There is a jump seat that goes in the back that's a bench, but it's not a real seat. And yes, it is right-hand drive and the blinker is on the right. It is a JDM vehicle after all. The national speed limit in Japan is, or at least was, 100 kilometers per hour. And to remind you of this and keep you within legal limits, the speedometer is equipped with a very menacing, dangerous sounding chime when you cross 100 kilometers per hour. I feel like this is pretty obvious, but I'll say it anyway. This is the only section of window that rolls down because all of this is way too much glass to fit into the door. Despite being French inspired, it's still very much a Japanese car. It's logical, it's reliable, it's practical, it's a usable van. This is an interesting vehicle, but it's not that interesting. 
once you get over the fact that it looks like a snail and or a French car for peasants, and that it's from Japan, it just drives like a normal car and feels like a small van. It's very easy to be caught off guard by people staring at you because it doesn't look like a normal car. It just feels like one from the inside. I'm tempted to say that the S-Cargo isn't actually that weird because the weirdness of it begins and ends with the design. But what I'm saying there in essence is the only part of this car that's weird is all of it. What I'm trying to say is this thing is not that interesting. It's not that desirable. You shouldn't want one, so you shouldn't buy one. So maybe eventually the prices will go down and I can afford to buy one. <laughs> maybe slow down for curves. <laughs> So that's the Nissan S-Cargo, a little novelty vehicle made just for funsies during an economic boom in Japan. And that's it. Thank you for watching and thank you to my patrons for your continued support and allowing me to do things like this. Take trips to faraway lands like Illinois and experience silly little Nissans with frog eyes. I love this thing a lot. It's a small urban delivery van, but it was designed to look real funky just for fun. How could you not love it?